Hey Heather. To answer your question in short about if I have ever had a situation where I was aware of having a feeling and not having any thoughts like that were attached to creating that feeling, um, no, I don't have any awareness of that. However, I also don't have, I'm still new to awareness of feelings in general in terms of like across the span of my life. Um, I was always believing that feeling followed action and actions came from thoughts and so like for me it was always just kind of backwards and I just bypassed the feeling like feelings were bad and feelings couldn't be trusted and feelings were just like something that you would maybe get after you did a thing and you just you, you know if you had any feelings before that then just like you just ignore that that's not you, you just you think your thoughts and you do the things um, so yeah so no I don't really I don't, I'm not aware of that, I should say, aside from um, sensations, which, you know, that's more circumstantial than an actual, like, an, like an emotional feeling. Um, but I, I have, like, all these questions now about what happened with the TV tray. So I'm wondering, like, I mean, yeah, you're, you're pretty sure you didn't have any thoughts, um, that were sad or that, that triggered this, this sad feeling uh, around that TV tray. Maybe, but I'm like, okay, well, what else was going on in the room? Like, you think it was the TV tray, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe there was some other, like, something else that, uh, some something energetically or something, like, um, you know, which is just the way the light was in the room. I don't know. Like, I'm, I have, I'm just really wondering. And then I think if, what if you tried to, like, recreate that situation? Would you, would you feel sad again if you, like, did that? Is there something, is there just some sadness in that space for you? Um, or maybe there's some like, <laughs> maybe there's some like hidden, you know, deep memory that you don't, like you, you don't have like access to, something that you've buried that has to do with the TV tray that makes you sad. I mean, do you have a history with TV trays or anything or that room or something? I don't know. Um, but then also like maybe it's just chemical maybe it was just you know like more of like kind of that sensation type thing or maybe there's just like a chemical thing in your brain that happened to like fire at that right time I don't know um, so if this is like a totally like oddball like situation for you then maybe those things are the reason or maybe there's just times when we have feelings and there is no thought or maybe it's one of those you know like one of those 70,000 thoughts that we're just not aware of. I don't know. Interesting question. And now, of course, I'm going to be thinking, lol, about, <laughs> about my feelings. And when I have a feeling, what is the thought that's attached to that? Right now, right now, one thing at a time. I am just trying to track my thoughts right now. <laughs> feelings, being aware of feelings, that's next level stuff for me. Great question as always. I will talk to you next week.